So as you all know, the 1.5.0 update to RPG Maker MV modified the plugin parameter system to a... a, 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 a it's gooder now! Anyway, this video series is going to be about updating older plugins to this newer version and how the mechanics will now function in relation to that. In this video, we'll be going over the four new updates I've created for four different plugins, and in later episodes we'll go over different plugins once I update them. With that out of the way, let's get straight into things. Time codes each plugin along with the link to them can be found in the description of this video. Credits plugin! First off is a credits plugin, which as you may recall is a plugin lets you give credits through different a menu on the title. That it gives you different sections, gives you different people, lets you open up a page if you want, and all that fun cool stuff like that. Now originally, this plugin required users to create a text file to modify all the different mechanics including the description, the people, their links, etc, etc, but now this uses the 1.5 parameter system. Simply open up the plugin, go to the credit data parameter, and now you have a list of all the sections. For example, this is going to be the plugin section, this one right here is going to be the art access section, this one is music, this one is other, and of course just add another section, add a new instance like this, and give it a name such as random. And there, now you have a random section added to your game. Well, we won't need that for now. Anyway, once you create a section, you can then create the credits within that section from the credit data right here. So we can go into credits, and now we have a list of all the credits within that section. For example, one credit in the plugin section is going to be the Some Random Dude credit, which has the name of Some Random Dude, of course, the URL to my site, and of course the description for this, well, credit. Once you have this all set up ready to go, you set it up for a bunch of different credits, set it up for a different section, set it up for all these different sections, and then you're good to go. And that's pretty much it. Of course, also, the other parameters have been updated, so that's, that's, that's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Preloader Core! The next plugin to be updated was a Preloader Core. This now has all of these things in different folders. You can now have a drop down for which one you want to choose, or input a custom yourself just by typing custom. File 1, 2, or File 4, you get the point, just stuff like that. But now, also, instead of having an indefinite amount of custom preloads to input, you can now input custom preloads to this indefinite thing right here by setting a path, by setting an image, and then just adding it to the list right here, and then you'll be good to go, just like that. Now another major addition to this plugin is actually not the parameters, but the functionality behind it. Originally, the 1.5 update made it so that images are now not really stored in memory as much as they used to be. Now memory is like cleared, every scene has changed, memory has a limit to how much stuff can be stored, and this helps it be more compatible with lesser powerful devices such as mobile devices. But of course, with that update, it made it so things like the preloader core are now completely ineffectual because when they preload stuff, it gets immediately deleted from the memory. Of course, now with this update, 1.5 now does not break it it stores everything into its own catch, which doesn't get deleted, meaning it stays in memory, meaning this actually restores the original catch system, sort of, for your, for your preloading. So that's cool. Yeah. Title Command Customizer! The third plugin to be updated was a much needed Title Command Customizer. Instead of having just a long list of command inputs grouped together, you know, just have the command data input right here. Each input is a different command that you can just put in here and you'll be good to go. For example, the first one right here is just going to be the new game. You have our new game text evaluation, the symbol, the action that's going to occur, and whether it's going to be enabled and visible. Same thing for our continue right here, our options right here, our shutdown right here, and then of course the optional common event input right here. So yeah, that is that. Adding new command is simple as creating a new instance, adding a text, for example, blah, giving it a symbol, so like, blah, and then giving it an action such as this dot play common event will make it so it's going to dot bind this and then common event two, just like that. So now, as you can see, our blog command is just right there, ready to go, and now calls upon com event 2 just like that. And of course, some of the other parameters have been updated also, such as a command order, which now allows you to much easier command and sort things with, with the stuff now. So, yeah, that's, that's cool. There is one important thing to bring up when it comes to updating your title command customizer, and that being the fact that if you update it from the old version into the new version, you're going to lose all of your parameter data. Because as you recall, all of your parameters are stored into a big list of different things, but now it's all been stored into one big parameter, but of course, due to the way RPG Maker saves stuff, it won't be saved into new command data. So this is important because when you do update, you're going to make sure you save your old data, maybe back up your project, maybe even write everything down so you can transfer it onto your new game, or maybe you just don't want to update it, which is fine by me, but now it's an option. So yeah, keep, keep that in mind. Title Picture Choices! And of course, logically, since the Title Command Customizer got updated, the Title Picture Choices plugin also got updated to 1.5. As you can see, once again, instead of having a long list of indefinite 
commands to input for your images, you now just put input image data like, like this. So for example, for our new game image, we now set the image to new game, set the symbol to the new game symbol, and now of course everything works as before. So yay. Same as before with the title command customizer, since the parameters have had a drastic shift in their formatting, your data will be deleted if you update this from the previous version, so make sure you have everything saved and ready to go. And also of course the, the other parameters have been updated, so yay, cool. Anyway, that's all for this video. Bye.